there were some gentlemen that, uh, that met with us, or some, some people that met with us, uh, wanted to make a change, if you all, those of you all that are familiar with the bill, that would change it from 30 days to 60 days, the amount of time that if you had requested that your landline be taken out and used an alternative method of uh, communication, that you had 60 days in which to reverse that. Also, one other change where we had the 15,000 carve out uh, that the companies were locked in as of January 1st, 2015, uh, to what that exchange would be, so that there would not be any uh, opportunity for them to group exchanges together that are smaller exchanges, make a 15,000 exchange, and then get under these uh, deregulation orders that are going to be put in place. But Mr. President, with that said, uh, first thing, you know, one thing I'd like to do is I'd like to thank uh, Representative Rand from uh, over in the other, other chamber for getting this bill passed and the work he did on that. But one thing I'd like to say to, to this body and to the body down there, you know, this is about the legislation. It's not about pride of authorship. And I'm not talking about for me, but I'm talking about for my majority caucus here in the Senate that they were willing to let me uh, give this bill up to somebody in the House because they knew it was a good piece of legislation and they wanted to get this passed. You know, this bill and holding it back for two or three years, it's untold how many dollars or how many millions or, or maybe even billions of dollars we've lost in investments in the state and kept Kentucky behind because we didn't have the investment made here to attract more businesses, to have a, have a better communication network. But it's not just this bill. This has happened before. Whether it be charter schools that we've passed in this chamber, whether it be tort reform we've passed in this chamber, numerous bills out there that we've passed here before that have shown around the country that make it a better business climate, that make it a better education climate, that do things to improve those states. That's why Kentucky consistently ranks the last in a lot of these fields when you look at, at where we're at. Because I think we do, all of us together collectively here in the Senate in a bipartisan manner. We try to work together to get ideas moved out of the Senate to move this state forward only to be seen them held up, sometimes for political reasons, excuses they ran out of time or whatever it may be down in the House. So I think we're doing the right things here. So I celebrate this day and, and ask uh, everybody to support uh, House Bill 152. I think it's moving the state in the right direction. I think that this, along with some of the SOAR projects, the black fiber, the dark fiber that they're putting in, I think these complement each other. I think it's a great time uh, to see this bill pass.